Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. I am a wife, a mom, and I would like to call myself a serial entrepreneur as I'm sitting here at my security desk. <laughs> and the reason I say serial entrepreneur is because I've started a couple businesses and they're going, they're just not going as well as um, I would have hoped. Oof, hold on, I'll be back. I actually got my back. A truck came in. I had to get back to work but anyways so um you know 2020 was devastating for pretty much everybody 2020 i lost my really good job um i was making like almost 70k a year so um so i went from making almost 70k a year to making pennies nothing um i couldn't apply for food stamps i couldn't apply for I mean, I applied for EDD, but of course, you know, that took forever. Like when I applied for EDD, it was during the time where like, I, where people were like certifying every single day, but nobody was receiving their money. And when you apply for like county or anything, um, you have to turn in pay stubs and all that. And because I was making so much, um, they denied me for food stamps and all that kind of stuff. So, um, more of the story is, you know, hard times, hard times. Fast forward till today because there's so much like that goes into the story that I don't even think I'm going to be remembering because I am at work sneaking trying to hurry to get this video in. Um, so yeah, so fast forward to today, I'm working as a security guard making pennies and you know, the whole time I'm working here, you know, I'm always thinking of a master plan thinking of, okay, how am I going to get back to being an entrepreneurial spirit like how am I going to get back aligned with myself and what like you know what I know I'm meant to do just because I know that there's nothing that brings me absolutely absolute joy nothing as far as like working like if I could eat all day shop be skinny and I don't know I don't know be lazy that's what I would do you know just enjoy life vacation um so pretty much I know I'm all over the place and you guys are going to get used to me being all over the place but, um, I'm working here. Yeah, see how I jump back over. So I'm working here and, you know, I'm starting to get to know the truck drivers. I'm at a truck stop. So, um, I'm starting to get to know the truck drivers. And one day when, like a really nice trucker that's always speaks to me, um, I'm like asking him like, you know, can girls do this? Cause this is a box truck. And my husband has been, um, even before I started working here, my husband is, was going to school to be a truck driver. And he's still in the process of that, you know, he's still in school. Well, actually, he just finished school. Now he's studying for his CDLs, but I'll let him tell his side of the story. So, um, I'm just like, so I'm just talking to the trucker and I'm like, can girls do this? And he's like, yeah, girls can do this. Anybody can do this. And I was like, okay, great. Because, you know, I am tired. I am tired of being broke. Like, I'm tired of being poor. I'm tired of this. So I don't know if it stuck with him or what, but he came back a few days later and he said, you know what, I have an idea for you. And I was like, oh, really what? And he was like, get a cargo van and you can make really good money because I don't want you, you know, driving, you're trying to drive box trucks when you don't really know how to drive a box truck. So he's like, so when you're ready, you know, buy a box truck and I'll show you the ropes. So I don't know if he just thought that, you know, I was just up here talking or making conversation but child, let me tell you, let me tell you what happened. God blessed us to be ready to buy that truck within, I want to say, two weeks of talking to him. So me and my husband, we, me, my husband and our three kids went to San Diego about maybe a week ago and purchased our first cargo van. And look at y'all i told y'all the whole story just to tell y'all that i'm trying to share this journey with you guys so if you guys are interested in our journey continue to watch and continue to stay tapped in with us i gotta get to work because people starting to pull up and i've been trying to hide my badge so y'all don't know exactly where i'm working at that's the going i'm sneaking so um so far let me let y'all know where we're at with um our cargo van journey so we bought the cargo van for five thousand dollars right and i told you we drove to oceanside which is like right outside the side right outside of san diego or it might be san diego right so we paid i gotta keep looking around because you know my boss will sneak up on me we ain't supposed to have our phones 
Okay, anyways, so we paid 5000 or whatever, right, for the Carco van. And my husband was driving it, and he called me and told me, like, oh, the check engine light is on, and the AC doesn't work, so boom, right there. And then he just, just, he just also told me that we don't have a second seat belt in the, um, in the second, like, in the passenger seat. So, that cost us $5,000. Then I had to get our EIN and our LLC, right? That ended up costing me $200. Uh, what else? did we do oh and then we had a sense so remember like i said the check engine line was on so we took it over for a diagnostic that cost us um 85 dollars so we that cost us 85 dollars plus we had to get um a sensor fix and that was the oxygen that was the oxygen um sensor so that cost us um 198 but when he rung it up after taxes it came up to like 206 that annoyed me should have just told me what it was after tax i don't like that i don't like finding out shit later <laughs> so um so and then he also told us that we had an oil leak now because we have an oil leak we have to um pretty much figure out what what where it's leaking at but they told but he told us that the engine was too dirty so he couldn't see so this morning my husband is taking it over taking the truck or the truck why don't you call it a truck or have i been calling it a van whatever i'll go back and see um, my husband is taking the van over to this like detailing place and they're going to detail our engine and then he's going to bring it over to my job because the mechanics up here hold on somebody pulling up behind me let me see what it is what was my boss he was trying to be snaky y'all i'm gonna come back in all right y'all my boss tried to pull up on your girl and catch her with her phone see that's why i can't be doing this i'm too grown to be hiding my phone so what was the last thing I was telling y'all? I think I was telling y'all that um, we got we had to get the sensor fix, and then after we had to get the sensor fix, my husband, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my husband he's taking the car over to get detailed, and then the mechanics at my job were gracious enough to tell me to bring it in after he gets it clean, and they'll look at it and tell me what's wrong, and then they'll give me a price. But the reason that I trust my like the people at my job is because. I work at a like at a um pretty known like i guess truck stop i guess like a really what was i famous i don't know i mean it's dhl i mean shit this is dhl that's who i work for and um so the mechanics here they're i guess they're freelance or they're private contractors or whatever so shoot they can recruit me for work right anyways hopefully i'm not being a conflict of interest with them but whatever they're doing it for me and I appreciate it. And you know, this is God looking out for you, his favorite girl. So, um, so yeah. So so far, you guys, I am in the hole. I don't know, I'm gonna add it up and then I'm gonna let y'all know. Because cars keep sticking up on me and I don't like that. My coworker. She needs to hurry her ass up so I can go somewhere where I can get on the camera and talk freely. Cause um yeah, so pretty much you guys so far um i want to say i'm probably in the hole i didn't i haven't added everything up but i want to say probably in the hole like 5300 so far right now or not even not even in the hole but i'm gonna try to put in like go crazy and work a few 16 hour shifts because my plan is to quit this job like i plan on quitting within the next like month so god willing that happens for us so yeah you guys i'll tap back in later and you know let y'all know what the, what's going on with the next step and i'll introduce y'all to my van let me know if y'all want me to do a little van tour i'll do a little van tour for y'all show y'all front seat back area whatever all the little bumps and screws and scratches they didn't tell me the van had and didn't show on offer it because that's where i got my van from i did get it from offer it but all right y'all i'll take tech i'll check back in with you guys um shortly peace and love